with regards to screening a male, it's quite easy. We do a semen analysis and in the semen analysis, we can look at the concentration of sperm, we can look at the shapes of the sperm, we can look at the movement of the sperm, we can look to see that the sperm are moving fast and forward appropriately. There are other tests that we can do on the sperm which looks at the sperm's ability to fertilize the egg. Depending on what we see on a, on a man's semen analysis, there are numerous different treatments for male infertility. Sometimes a guy will have low sperm counts. Sometimes the shapes of the sperm will be abnormal. And in some cases, the sperm are just not moving appropriately. Depending on the problem, there are different kinds of treatments. Everybody knows about intrauterine insemination or artificial insemination. And that is where we take the sperm, process the sample and inject the spot sample into the uterus, getting it closer to the egg and assisting the fertilization process. This is a treatment that is offered with mild male fact infertility, but it doesn't treat men with severe male fact infertility. So men who have really, really low sperm counts, really poor motility in their sperm, cannot be treated with artificial insemination. They need to be treated with IVF and a specific kind of IVF where we assist the fertilization by injecting a sperm into the egg. This is a procedure called ICSI. Sometimes we find that men have no sperm at all. And there's different causes for uh, this condition called azospermia, but there are also treatments for men with azospermia. Sometimes the testicles are not producing sperm because the hormones from the brain, which encourage the testicles to work, are not functioning. And by replacing those hormones, the, the testicle starts to produce sperm. Sometimes there may be an obstruction that the testicles are making sperm, but the sperm is not getting into the ejaculate. And that way we treat by retrieving sperm directly from the testicles. Sometimes the sperm counts are so low that we don't see any sperm in an ejaculate, but we are able to find sperm in the testicle by doing a testicular biopsy and then achieving pregnancies with sperm retrieved from the testicles. So almost all conditions of male infertility can be treated, almost all of them, but there are certain conditions where the testicle just cannot make sperm. And in those cases, unfortunately, we treat our couples with sperm donation.